Stoney. After this quick break, we're going to bring in Jason Hickman, our national basketball editor, for some three in the key. Well, let's get this party started. Jason Hickman, come join us for this week's three in the key. And Jay, let's go ahead and dive right in. Next week, McDonald's All-Americans will be announced. You wrote an article on it. Who do you think will be some guys balling in the Windy City in April? Yeah, guys, January 28th is a little bit like the NCAA tournament uh, selection day. Twitter will undoubtedly be a firestorm after the announcements, uh, after the selections are announced. We know guys like Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown, Malik Newman, Diamond Stone, those guys are absolute locks. I think there's probably close to 15 guys, uh, you know, that are shoe in unanimous selections uh, for the full list. Shameless plug. Go check out the site maxpreps.com. Uh, a couple other guys that I think have solidified their spot with a, a strong start to their senior season: Deontay Davis from Muskegon, Michigan, uh, one of the most versatile big men in the country. Luke Kennard from Franklin, Ohio, who's averaging over 40 points per game. Uh, and then you guys, you have the guys that I think are going to be on the borderline. Tyler Dorsey uh, out of shooting guard from California, and also Derek Jones of Archbishop Carroll uh, outside of Philadelphia. I have those guys on the outside looking in. We'll see what happens next Wednesday. It should be very, very interesting. Uh, for a full list of our predictions, again, go to the site, maxpreps.com homepage, and uh, it will be right there waiting for you. Now, Jason, when you – Player rankings are always coming into play when these type of selections occur in the high school world. Now, 24-7 sports composite rankings are released, in, and who do you think is going to be making maybe the biggest jump in those rankings during this season? Yeah, I'm looking at those rankings right now, and I'm looking at number 20, Dane, Dwayne Bacon, excuse me, of Oak Hill Academy. Uh, unbelievable weekend, four 30-point games in the Bass Pro Tournament of Champions and the Spalding Hoop Hall Classic. This guy is an unstoppable scorer, uh, just absolute man-child at the two-guard position, athletic, explosive, and was really the star of stars on the on the biggest weekend in high school basketball. I could easily see him slipping into the top ten when these are updated next time around. And Jason, we've zoned in on some of the top players and the top recruits. Now let's get back and look at the teams. And uh, what are some can't-miss games going down this weekend? Yeah, well, two big events. Uh, one of them, the Hilton Invitational uh, in Georgia. It's going to feature number eight, DeMatha, taking on Pebblebrook of Georgia. Of course, they were the runner-up at the Max Preps Holiday Classic. A huge prove-it kind of game for DeMatha, who slid way up the rankings after blasting. Uh, Roselle Catholic uh, at the Hoop Hall Classic last week. The, the other big event uh, will be the, the Rescue Rooter uh, Hoop Fest, ARS.com Rescue Rooter Hoop Fest, uh, where Montford Academy uh, will take on Tampa Prep and also number 21 Huntington State Joseph Prep uh, taking on Old Smart Christian. Well, thank you, Jason, very much for all of your insight once again here on Three in the Key, where you answer three questions from the fans. And us. Of course. And us, yeah. For Zach Poff, my name is Chris Stonebreaker. This was The Court Report. And keep on clicking on to MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.